Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're comparing Retool and AppSmith, you're likely building internal apps and looking for a fast, flexible way to connect your data. Both are great local platforms, but they target slightly different users. So let's walk through the platform overviews, pricing, features, and more to help you decide. And if you're using it for something else, then this video is also good for you. So let's dive off with this video, starting off with the platform overview of Retool. Retool is founded in 2017 and is a fast way to build internal apps using pre-built components and strong integrations, and it's tailored for developers and enterprise teams who want to build admin panels, dashboards, or tools on top of SQL, Arias T, Firebase, and more. AppSpace is launched in 2019 and is an open source and developer-friendly platform. It lets you build custom tools with drag and drop widgets, connect to any API or database, and offers great flexibility for small teams or self-hosting. And let's take a look at the pricing and the costs. Well, Retool offers a free tier for individuals, but pay plans will start at around 9 euro per month. And for enterprise features like audit logs, version control, and role-based access, pricing jumps significantly. AppSmith is open source and free to self-host, with cloud pricing starting at around $15 per month per user, and you will get more flexibility and transparency with AppSmith, especially if you're open to managing it yourself. And as you can see, the difference in the free and the business plan, for example, is in the users. You will have up to five users for the cloud at the free plan. And in business, you will have up to 99 users. And it also says everything in free plus everything in this extra. So now let's take a look at the features and tools. Well, Retool shines with ready to use UI components, quick data binding, and a polished interface built for speed. It supports workflows, queries, permissions, and one-click deployment. AppSmith, on the other hand, offers a solid component library, custom JS logic, GIT sync, and user roles, even in the open source version. It's more customizable, but may require more setup effort. And now let's make a final verdict between the two. I would say choose Retool if you want an enterprise-grade speed, polish, and are okay with paying for premium convenience. Choose AppSmith if you want an open source, cost-effective platform with strong customization and no vendor login. And which one are you using for your internal tools? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing, and then I will see you in the next one.